The longest shutdown in American history will finally end today. The workers showed up despite the callous indifference of the administration, who treated them as hostages, who treated them as pawns, who belittled their financial strain. Our dedicated public servants should never, never have to go through this again. We will do everything we can to make sure they won't have to. Last week, only six Democrats joined every Republican to vote to pay our workers. But if you want to know why you weren't paid, it is because the Democratic leader objected to your getting a paycheck. In a short while, I will sign a bill to open our government for three weeks until February 15th. Thank goodness we put that matter to rest and then we can get on to the subject at hand. Open up government. Democrats are negotiating behind the scenes a counteroffer uh, That's not true. That's president. not true. What if, if that's, that's not, true. not true, what are the status of the negotiations? No, are you considering something like that? No, what we, we are doing what we have been doing all along. Senator Kennedy brought forward a clean bill that does one thing and one thing only. It pays the salaries of the Coast Guard. If the Democratic leader hadn't objected, that would have passed right now. We just had moments ago a vote that would have provided pay to the federal workers who have not received their paychecks this year. These crocodile tears that the senator from Texas is crying for first responders are too hard for me to take. Americans agree that we must provide for border security, reopen the government, and end the shutdown. But since House Democrat leadership has refused to come to the table, and negotiate in good faith. At least we could do is ensure our federal workers don't suffer because of Washington's dysfunction. It is not right that we aren't paying the Coast Guard. Right now, every other military branch is being paid. The Army's being paid, the Navy's being paid, the Air Force is being paid, the Marines are being paid, but the Coast Guard is not being paid. Even as they're risking their lives, many of us in Texas and along the Gulf Coast saw the incredible heroism of the Coast Guard in the wake of Hurricane Harvey, where so many brave men and women risked their lives to save thousands upon thousands of innocents. They should be paid. Our veterans, many of whom are in their jobs with security clearances, and a security clearance uh, is uh, affected if your credit rating uh, is diminished. So uh, we are grateful to our veterans who have donned the uniform of our country to protect us and then move on to the civilian side to continue their public service. And we want them to have all the respect they deserve. He brought forward a bill to pay the Coast Guard. It did nothing else. Didn't address any aspect of the shutdown, didn't address any aspect of the wall. It simply said, let's pay the men and women of the Coast Guard, yes or no. That means you can be a yes on that whether you think we need to secure the border and have a steel barrier or whether you support open borders, it doesn't say anything either way. It just says the men and women of the Coast Guard deserve paychecks. We could have passed that right here today, and there's one reason and one reason only we didn't, because the Democratic leaders stood up and said, I object. They will see what the decisions are that we have to make and help weigh in on those decisions. I thank you again, Mr. Okay, wait, wait, one at a time. Come on, one at a time, please.